Day three. Here we go. Oh, I was a little out of it yesterday, but uh, we've made good progress so far. We've been at it about 11 hours. We're starting late today, so this one might not be quite as long as the first two have been. But uh, Skyward Sword Part 3, we are starting the third dungeon in the game today. I wonder what that ring of five things on the side is. I'm gonna have another five MacGuffins to collect. At some point in this game. I'm thinking about maybe doing some side quest stuff. I would I would really like to have a, a bigger pouch. Like more than four items would be just wonderful. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be doing the uh, time mechanics here inside the dungeon. The bigger pouch is the thing I would most like. Uh, I guess... Is there anything else I feel like I really need? Not really. I I'm getting like a decent number of upgrades to uh, capacities. Like I I'm getting uh, I'm getting bomb and seed upgrades at a good pace. There's that 800 purchase at the beetle shop. I don't remember what that was exactly. Something to do with uh, HP, I think. Uh, hmm. There we go. Now, can I get across this, though? I'll bet that I can't. No, that's not a good, uh... That's not a good place to stand. Hello, Darian. Oh, I know what I can do, duh. We just got this mechanic. I'm expecting to get the hookshot in this dungeon. I'm gonna guess that's the dungeon item. I haven't seen any other, like, conspicuous areas of, I'd like, I don't know what to expect for other items we'll get in this game yet. I don't think I can run across that. I think that's too far. I might need to, like, hookshot it. It's gonna be too far. No, it's not too far. Okay. Why, well, I, I, oh, there's a switch, I guess. I can't take these guys out with the... Just a bug, can I? I need a bomb. No, the bug is not enough for them. Darn. Today was the uh, Nintendo Direct. Nothing Zelda related. A uh, few things I was a little interested in. I don't think anything that uh, I would be willing to spend full price on. We saw the uh, Sword and Shield... Sorry, Scarlet and Violet DLC. Which we're doing like uh, Old Japan again. That was a little disappointing because we were... Like, that's literally what we just did with Legend Arceus. I wonder if that's a, an attempt to, like, uh, tie it back to that so we can have the Hisu and Hisui and whatever Pokemon.
And we're not actually doing like a time travel thing. It looks like just uh, just like a, a Japanese festival kind of thing. What else did we see? We saw Mario RPG is getting remade, which I'm not a fan of that game, but Jack loves it, so he's very happy about that. Luigi's Mansion 2 is getting remastered. I didn't really see anyone who cared about that. Which is kind of sad, because similar to this game, most people seem to think it's not a terrible game. It's just... There's not a lot of reason to play it compared to the other Luigi's Mansion games. Like, Luigi's Mansion 3 just blows it out of the water. Anything else I need to do in here? I did pull the switch, did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. What else was there? There was Sonic Superstars, which we knew about already. We've seen that announced. I'm not... I'm cautiously optimistic about it. It could be okay. This is basically New Super Mario Brothers, but Sonic. I, I did a spin attack before. Why is it not working now? Alright, I have another idea. And then the big thing at the end was the uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, which is like New Super Mario Brothers, except not. It looked like if uh, it looked like if Sonic Team were involved in a Super Mario game. It's a very strange game, which I appreciate that they're taking chances with Mario because they. Especially with 2D Mario, they really haven't done that in a very long time. It's just been uh, New Super Mario Brothers over and over again. However, it also looks like a very strange game. Not just because they're doing a very a lot of like uh, really eclectic mechanical things, but uh, stylistically, they're trying to make it look like old sprites by not having a lot of frames of animation. I don't know how that's gonna go. It, lo it looks kind of strange to me, but uh, maybe I'll get used to it. Can I do anything up here? There's a door. Surely they're gonna have me use all three of those blocks, not just one of them. Sorry again if my voice sounds very dry, it just that's just kind of the start of stream sound. I need a little bit to wake up first. Uh How long do you figure this temple is, Darian? Because you said the the stuff leading up to the temple was the really tedious part. Okay. No, I can't grab onto those boxes. I need to, I need to blow them up first. I see. I can do it with my bombs, but why not save one? There we go. I like this item. There's a cool item. Beetle. Apparently it is in Smash Brothers. This is the thing that, uh... It's like the item that picks you up and carries you away. Which is, I guess, one way to implement it, even though it doesn't really, like, act like that in this game. This part goes on for quite this dungeon.
Like, this is a dungeon. Is this not the main dungeon of the area? There's still the Temple of Time, which we did not, uh... We haven't entered the Temple of Time proper. I wonder if this, like, spills into it halfway or something. Or if, uh... You're gonna be revisiting each area again. Eh, I, I figured it would be something like that. Maybe the Temple of Time is the fourth dungeon. Right, we gotta do all these three things before we can go there. Yeah, they gotta electrify right after you get them off. Okay, I have a small key. What can I do with a small key? Might not be able to do anything in this room. There were, I think there were locked doors in the previous room. It's like Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't remember Kingdom Hearts 2. I, do, I don't think we got far enough to do that in Kingdom Hearts 2. How far did we get? I think we stopped at the Pirates of the Caribbean world. That's as far as we streamed Kingdom Hearts 2. If, if I remember correctly, it started uh, crashing after that point. Which we now have it uh, working on emulation, we just never really got around to going back to it. Hello? Uh, Fi, what do you have to say about this critter? It's a froak. This odd creature is cowardly by nature. It will expose an array of densely packed defensive spines when approached or provoked. Now do I have to approach it, or will this approaching it trigger it? No, that works. Alright. What is this? There's like an engine. There's some kind of device sitting here that I am guessing the time crystals are going to be a thing here. I might be able to beetle it from the front. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of playing it safe. What were the final opinions on Kingdom Hearts 3? I, I never really hear anyone talking about it. People end up liking it overall? How different was it from the previous two? Is is that the one where the... where the Woody scene comes from? That's a wooden box. It's a wooden box sitting in a weird spot. Are there any bombs around here? There are. Technically, I think I do have enough time to place a bomb and then carry it a little bit of distance with the beetle. I don't know that the game will ever expect me to do that, though, because it's kind of cumbersome. I'm glad this beetle is tough as nails. If it just broke after blowing up, then uh, Link would be out of luck. Oh, hello, this is one of those stand-on switches. I see. If only I could have pushed that crate instead of having to blow it up. It's definitely just another Kingdom Hearts game. Okay, yeah. I don't know why one would figure it would be anything besides that. People thought it was gonna, like, uh, reinvent the series or something. Okay, you're not friendly, are you? Fi, thoughts? It's a Beemos. I see. Ancient security mechanism. I recommend using a weapon that can strike at high targets.
Right, you can just be most. You can just uh, sort of be most in this game. That's a first. Uh oh. Yeah, stab it. They also don't seem to explode. Okay, what was this place called? Lanayru Mining Facility. So it's a mining facility. It's also... I guess it's still a mining facility in the, in the past. There's like ore on the... On the, on the treadmill. Having 100% of the game before, I think it's way too easy. Which do you think is the is the hardest of the three mainline Kingdom Hearts games? I'm gonna guess two. I guess one one did get pretty. Some of the buzz one overall was not hard, but it's just some of the bosses specifically were a pain in the ass. I'm looking at Phantom. Phantom just sucked. criticism about 3 is that it's just a tech demo for the PS4 by recreating shots from the movies. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 2 already felt like that. Kingdom Hearts 1 was mostly, like, uh... It was mostly original stories in the worlds. They could be, they could be loosely based on what happened in the movies, but they were rarely just, like, one-for-one -one retellings, whereas in Kingdom Hearts 2... The worlds I visited, that we visited on stream, did just feel like one-to-one -one retellings, but with Sora and gang hanging out. It makes the, uh, it makes the Disney aspect of the game feel a lot more superficial. I'm not one to talk too much about the series, though, because I have not played a lot of it. Alright, what did that open? I saw it. It showed me. I think it was that, though, or over there, I think? It's a good thing there's fruit on this conveyor belt, or this would also be the end of Link's adventure. There's a lot of coincidences, coincidences that work out in his favor in the world of Hyrule. Although I guess this... Actually, this isn't Hyrule. This predates Hyrule. This game world. There's just Skyloft, and there's, uh... The surface. I do remember struggling with the combat in Kingdom Hearts 2. The difficulty in Kingdom Hearts 1, aside from those couple of special cases, just came down to, you know, leveling more. You could mash your way through most of that game. I, I couldn't mash anymore in Kingdom Hearts 2, so I didn't know what to do. I don't remember the streams terribly well, but I remember Jack getting mad at the way I played the game pretty often. Okay, deep puff now. What happened to Mr. Puff? Blocked? I bet there's gonna be a block at the top of this. There's gonna be a block or a locked door. Oh, 
No, there's just a nice treasure chest for me. With the dungeon map inside. Nope, it's the Gust Billows. Okay. So we get three items in this area. Still assuming we'll have the hook shot. Oh, it's another thing where these just... There are these little interactables everywhere that now I have to clear out. I'm gonna have to check every one of these stupid, like, mold mounds to see if there's anything important under it. That was more forgivable with the, uh... That was more forgivable with the digging mitts because I don't have to pull, like, I don't have to equip them. This is gonna be more annoying. Also, once again, really giving me every kind of ranged weapon except for, uh, except for bow and arrow. We're not getting the bow and arrow in this game. see a treasure chest. Come off. Wow, they're tough. All right. is also the easiest 100%. Are there, like, fewer worlds in 3 than the other games? stuff over here. I didn't go this way. Oh, these dudes respawn. Okay. It does puff up if it sees the beetle coming. No, go away. Leave. Boy, that's a tragedy waiting to happen. If Link jumps the wrong way over this. I just- I just killed you! Get out of here! All that for five rupees. Oh, this game. And he's already back again. Look at look at his stupid face. Get out of here. All right, what's on the ground level? Anything else worth getting? Switching between my bellows and my sword. At least you can see where the walls are. 
they didn't used to do that in Zelda games. They would just, they would just pop up at the last second and get you. They made it conveniently obvious in this one. Three is when they started including Pixar worlds. Were there not any prior? I could have sworn there was at least one or two. There were already some very strange worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I didn't like that they started including live-action stuff like uh, Tron and Pirates. That's still very strange to me. Oh, they can go over the spikes. That's not fair. <laughs> Why he no grab? is still on his quest for those 99 Dalmatians. Bless him for attempting. In that one game that uh, makes it just impossibly difficult to get all of them. Like you have to gamble for the Dalmatians. This room sucked. I didn't like this room. There's a lot of nothing garbage sand piles. Surely the digging mitts could have also removed the sand over a long enough period. A pile of sand does not seem enough to, like, really end Link's adventure. He'd get through there eventually. He doesn't need magic wind to get through that. Uh... Oh, there's a, there's a ladder, I see. Have I been here before? I have. Bats. Oh, they're electric. Why do they gotta be electric bats? We got a new type of keys now? Also, I just realized I don't have to... I don't have to tap the thing. I can just continuously blow. You ever continuously blow? Also, logically, I should be able to clear this sand with bombs. Surely an explosion would be adept at clearing a pile of sand. Can I open this at all? I don't know that I can yet. There's a wooden... Cr is that a wooden crate up there? Or is that a metal crate? I think it's metal. They look pretty similar from a distance. I'm gonna go look for more sand piles. I like how they bother to animate Link, uh, like, lifting the door up. As opposed to usually they just, like, they just magically open. Uh, map. I have been over here. 
And that was the path I, I've been on already. I have not been this way. I need to clear some sand, I'm gonna guess. Get out of here! Annoying enemies make me put my bellows away. Dink's doing all this just so that he can bring his, his childhood friend home. And Impa's really standing in the way like, no. Fuck you. Get out of here. I guess we've heard something about like fate and destiny. He's got to like save the world or something, but we haven't really gotten any more details on that. Right now, his main impetus is just to, like, get Zelda home. Poor Owlman misses his daughter. This Link is not very expressive. It's kind of hard to tell how, uh, how altruistic he is. Like, does he care about the fate of the world? He's got Fi with him. He doesn't really talk to Fi, though. He doesn't seem particularly, particularly responsive to all this fate business she keeps going on about. things are if these are like goma larva. I should probably be checking enemies more. This is the first game in a while that we've been able to like get enemy information. Araka. This larval monster is said to live for 1,000 years during which time it is continually growing. The larva is small in size, it is quite ferocious and is often found in swarms beneath the sand. Come on. You made it through. I do appreciate that. I, I missed having, like, enemy information in uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Thankfully, wind does not activate magical time rocks. Oh boy, here we go. Now we got the wind mechanics. I think. Yeah, there we go. Deco leaf all over again. Okay, what are you? Are you a floating hookshot target? Can I do anything over here yet? I don't know if I can go this way. I don't think my wind will reach far enough. It will not. All right.
Uh oh. No, wait, come back. Ah, eh, not far enough. Like, please. These kind of factories are the closest Jack's ever going to get to his, uh, his future tech Zelda that he wanted. Alright, well, where can we go now? Can we go anywhere new? What did we get? We got the... We had the bellows. We didn't get any new items from that. Ergo, it doesn't make sense that we would just come back. Is there anything else we can do in this room? Uh, this time stone did not, did not extend into the adjacent room, so that's not helpful. You. What are you? It looks like a hookshot target. Oh, it fired upon me. It didn't like that I did that. I guess I can go try to mess with it. I don't know what else to do. No, nope, other way. God damn it. No, other way! There we go. There was a, a new WarioWare announced, which I don't really follow that series, but... Uh, even for people who do, unfortunately, it is a, uh, it is a waggle title. Gotta use them Joy-Cons. What if I bomb it? Pretty sure that's not the solution, but... Should be possible. No! I'm gonna try it. Against my better judgment. Beetle, please. All right. That was about as, as successful as I anticipated. And I'm over here now. Why did it put me over here? I'm trapped over here. Wait. Wait. A thought. I'm so smart. I like these Beemos. I'm not crazy about their design, but I like being able to cut them in half at least. That's nice. I appreciate that option. Uh, alright, fine. What do you have to say about this? It's a Centrove. Built in ancient times, armed with missiles. Dink be like, what's a missile? You can repel the missiles with certain items. Okay. It's, uh, they turned the, they turned Ganondorf into an enemy. Oh, 
Go on. Missile. Alright. It's an interesting enemy for a Zelda game. An armed drone. I feel like I was misled when I was told that uh, I had heard that this game didn't really do anything new or experiment, that it was very safe. It just kind of followed the Zelda formula. I think this game experiments a lot. I think it's held back by the gimmicky stuff like the motion controls, but it definitely does not fail to experiment. It, it, it's trying new things for the Zelda franchise. Alright, new room. And it's these guys again. I don't like these guys. Can I blow them? I can I can briefly discombobulate them with blowing. Come on. Come here. No, face this way. There we go. One more. I don't know if this is, like, the intended way to deal with these guys. It just seems like the most reliable. Year old bugs just everywhere. These things don't add difficulty. They're, they're just tedious. Especially since you can't, like, know which things they're under. It's just, it's guessing and checking. That's one of those slightly questionable game design decisions. Jack and I finished uh, Season 2 of My Hero today. So I think Bakugo is past his worst now. We had the, uh, the, the team-up fight with Deku. We're about to start the camp part, which, in my opinion, is the low part of the series. So once we're past that, we're all good. Uh, what can I do here? I can blow. When in doubt, just blow. Uh, will a slingshot work on these? I, have, I don't think I've tried. It will. Blow does not activate magic rock. However, nut will. You can make anything in innuendo if you try hard enough. Hello, what are you? Are you an Armos? Fi? Yes, that is this game's Armos. Wow, every, everything in this game looks fucking weird. 
Zelda enemies change such a, so, like, design so drastically between games. She, she offered no suggestion for how to deal with this, this opponent. I, I have an idea with the, the thing on its head, but... Well, that's quite... That's different from how you usually fight these guys. Ow. No, I need some distance, please. <laughs> it's like the beaver in Donkey Kong Country. I hit it once, now its jumps are bigger. No, go away. Pull your thing out. Once again, I'm taking so much damage because I'm fighting the controls. There we go. I gotta stab it, that's why. I don't know why the difference between uh, just pressing and holding a button is messing with me so much. I keep just, uh, I keep pressing and holding uh, the ZR button trying to get a weapon out, but that summons the wheel. I can only get it, I can only pull it out by tapping. This game really just invalidates all of your, any previous muscle memory you've had in Zelda, because it just, nothing controls alike. All of the most basic, fundamental Zelda mechanics are just out the window. I can't even run and press A to roll. That's not a thing anymore. Alright, what's in this room? Have we been here yet? We have... not been here yet. Alright, new room. Fairly generous bomb refills in this game. I appreciate that. I appreciate not being item starved. Alright, shortcut button. Do a quick save. So there are four dungeons, but each dungeon has, like, two parts, I guess? Something like that? I wonder if I'm gonna have to get, like, a, another dungeon map when I go back to a dungeon for the second time. Okay, I see. There's, there's, there's paths in the sand. It's just, like, outside. Well, that's not great. I to I didn't like that mechanic. Do I have a way of dealing with this guy? I don't have a convenient way, but I do technically have a way. Actually, you know what? I think I can uh If I roll a bomb, it's going to it's going to move with the sand, isn't it? Okay, that works. That's fine. Flick back, please. Link, I need you to face the way that I leave the stick. Thank you. <laughs> Logically, I should be able to blow away all this sand. No, oh, that'd be too easy. Where does this go? It goes to a robot? Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm not going this way. Once again, Link is very maneuverable in these tiny cramped spaces. He has no problem turning 180 degrees. I want to see an artist depiction of what Link's body is doing when he turns around like that in a tiny tunnel. Contortionist Dink. Have another Vinny stream to watch when I finish this. As I said, it's impossible to avoid all of the like uh, story beats for a game this old, but uh, I have avoided watching any other playthroughs of it, so I can be as blind as possible. Same for Breath of the Wild, 2023. Still have not played or seen anything of that game, so. Once I finish this, I will be doing Breath of the Wild with Jack. Jack is a lot more eager about playing that game together than he was this one. In fact, he has, uh, he's played it on his own. He owns it. It's just gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be the blind one for that. I hate these electric slimes. They're so bad! Ah! No, get up, Link! <laughs> hey, slime! <laughs> All right, another hole. No, 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 no. Boy, these are a lot more punishing than the tunnels under Windfall. There's no asshole rats pulling levers down here. I wonder what these tunnels would be logically for, if these are like, uh, robot travel tunnels. Or there's maybe air vents. Speaking of air vents, another thing announced for the Switch in the uh, recent Direct is the Metal Gear Collection, Volume 1. Which looks like a really cool collection. It's got uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. Not Twin Snakes, but that's okay has a Metal Gear 1 and 2, and, uh, surprise to me, it has the Metal Gear on the NES and Snake's Revenge on the NES. I think there was also, like, a Game Boy Metal Gear game. There's been a, cup, a, a couple of, like, small, relatively unplayed outliers in the franchise. It would be cool if they had, if they included the Twin Snakes version as well of uh, Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear Solid 1, but uh, my understanding is that it did not sell particularly well. Now, I, I gotta blow the sand around this room, don't I? I'm cautiously hoping that uh, Konami doesn't do anything to, like, fuck up the collection. I'm also curious how it's going to run specifically on the Switch, because, uh, they're PS2 games. PS1, PS2 games, so they should be okay in theory. I don't know, though. It's, it's always possible. I'm trying to think of what some really bad collections have been. There was the, uh, as I understand it, the Ratchet and Jack and Sly collections on the PS3, PS4, 
have had a lot of like a lot of bugs and performance issues because they were very like rushed, not very thorough ports. Hello, Cure Ribbon. Oh, the I can blow them. If I blow them into a wall, they explode. These bugs can just, they can just walk on through. They don't give a shit about the spikes. I wonder if the spikes even damage Link. If he lands on top of them. He's not hurt by walking into them. They just act as walls. Get out of here. Annoying little bugs. Most of the collections Konami has been doing, they've had other studios like M2 in charge of them. Well, I hope it's good. Because it's especially nice for uh, people who maybe haven't had Sony systems or... You know, these games have been otherwise... What other formats have a lot of the Metal Gear games been playable in? I don't know if they've been on anything besides the PS2, and by extension... Because they have, like, uh, like the PS3 and PS4 have, like, PS2 games you can download and emulate. I assume that most of the Metal Gear games have been available in that capacity. But they haven't been on, say, like, Steam or any PC format. <laughs> I think that was just Metal Gear 5. Maybe Metal Gear 4 was on Steam. But the ones before that have just kind of been... Uh, not playable. There's the PSP games. As... Like, were there PSP ports of the earlier Metal Gear games? Or are you talking about the games that are... Uh, like the PSP original games? Because those tie in to Metal Gear 4 and 5, so I'm expecting if there's a Volume 2 collection, it will be the, uh, it will be the, P the PSP games plus Metal Gear 4, maybe 5. Okay, we got a, we got a moving time bubble. What does this do? Okay, that's the, that's just the summon the cart back button. I see. How do I send it now? Do I, can I stab it? Can I push it? Metal Gear Solid 4 is still stuck on the PS3. Is that the only thing it was ever on? I guess that makes sense. PlayStation doesn't have a, a ton of exclusive properties, but Metal Gear has always kind of been one of them. I'm trying to remember what the PSP games were. I think there was uh, two of them. Two noteworthy ones. There's like a Portable Ops was one, and uh, there was like a base building thing that tied into the base building mechanics in Metal Gear 5. I don't remember the name of that one, but I remember, I remember Vinny played it, so I have seen it. I hate these electric slime enemies. Electric enemies suck. All right, new bird statue acquired. Peace Walker, that was the one. How much of the Metal Gear series have you played, Darian? Or how much are you, like, familiar with? Like, there was the uh, Did You Know Gaming video 
within the past year or so about the uh, social experiment, quote-unquote, that apparently was Metal Gear Solid V. Like, there was an online multiplayer aspect to uh, base building in that game. And uh, Kojima wanted to see if it was feasible for players to, like, create a nuke-free game world. Which it might have been, if not for the existence of a bug. Wait, what am I doing? Can I just not cross this? There was a bug that made it, like, physically impossible to do. Through no fault of the players. And Konami never bothered to, like, fix it, so... I can't blow that far. I don't think I can get that over here. Anyway, some fans, like, actually hacked the game to make it possible. And, uh... Konami just said no. They, like, refused to acknowledge it. Because it was illegitimate, even though it was legitimately impossible to do because of their game being bugged. So, it was—it was, it was kind of—it was a whole thing. It was a whole stupid Konami thing. There was rumors of like uh, game content which was locked behind the. Uh, entire online community reaching a state of, like, zero nuclear arms, but, uh, it either never, it was either never happened or it was just never made, which some people think is the reason Konami has been just, like, not interested in fixing anything. But they didn't have the content that was supposed to activate when that would eventually happen. Okay, Zelrog is stuck again. What am I doing? There's a thing over there. There's a blow thing right here. But that's too far for me to... I can't blow that far. So I need to be on the other side before I can do anything with that. However, there's no means for me to cross this gap. That I can see. There looks to be a path in this direction, however... This is blocked by a gate. I'm, I'm dumb. It's another one of those gates. I just need to fucking blow on it. Why do I keep blinding those? No, put away. I don't- they just look- they just look decorative. They don't look like interactable switches. Yeah, four, 4 is probably, like, the worst one to try to jump into without knowing any of the plot of the previous ones. Nope, leave me alone. Do not want... Ready. I'm ready for the next BMO, so I'm gonna I'm gonna nail this one. With my with my slingshot, because I'm not allowed to have arrows. Nope, slingshot don't work. Can I just not defeat BMOs? Maybe the bug would work, but I don't think I it'll travel fast enough for me to defer to work in this situation. I'm over here now. I have no health, and there's another stupid electric slime on the other side of this gate. Oh boy, here we go. Where are you? Did it jump off? Is it gone?
All right, shortcut unlocked. Get out of here. Be gone. the emulator giving me performance issues. I don't remember if we played uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 on emulation or on hardware. I think it was on hardware. Like, I was playing on my, my PS2. And it must have been my, my actual, like, physical disc that was damaged because it did... It kept crashing at the final boss, so Jack and I... This was before we started streaming. We were just playing it for fun together. And uh, we never got to finish it. It just kept crashing at the end. And that is, to this day, the only Metal Gear Solid game that I have only personally played. I just watched the rest. Oh boy, what is this going to be? I don't know what that is. Is that going to start shooting at me? I guess I should get on this side. Open faster! Open faster! Okay. I, that took me a few seconds to do, and now, because of what I did, that, that door has been open for, like, thousands of years. Uh... Can I not go anywhere from here? I can't make that jump. Alright. I'm gonna do some quick blowing. Get some rupees that apparently somehow spawned in here over the past millennia. This be a weird dungeon. What's my shield looking like? It just says it's equipped. I can't see how, like, healthy my shield is. Slingshot him. There we go. Alright, where am I going before I start climbing this? I guess I'm just going straight up. Link cannot crane his head that high. <laughs> What game was it that I watched? I think it was I think it was Twilight Princess HD. Where uh Link just like when you're looking around with the like the up up C stick or whatever the whatever the button to uh whatever the first person button is. When Link is doing this in Twilight Princess because they're they're striving for realism. His model is actually, like, bending straight backwards, doing the limbo to look straight up. So if you cut back to third person fast enough, you see Link in just some really goofy poses. 
Get out. Okay, you know what? Electric keys. No, I, that, not that. Fi, I want you to tell me about this enemy. Thunder keys. Found in desert habitats, these winged monsters are attracted to dark places such as caves. Their internal organs generate electricity for attracting prey. Okay. This is the first keys we've gotten some, like, biological explanation for why they are the way they are. What? Explain to me about the internal organs that generate fire in fire keys. Oh, I do have a shield me meter up there. I just, I didn't even see that. Just taking hits from everything. Okay. Uh, well, I have a ladder here. Is there anything else I can do down there? I don't see anything immediately. Let's see what this does. <laughs> Oh. Well, the switch still works, however, it's not, like, helpful to me because this area is still in, like, the present time. Is there gonna be a block up here? Is this gonna be a useless ladder? You bet it is! All right, can't do nothing, because Link cannot rotate his body 90 degrees and grab that ledge. No, sir. Truly, it would be an inhuman feat to reach your arm to the right and grab that ledge, Link. Oh, well. Uh, this door is locked. What can I do here? Is there anything I can do? I need to find a time stone somewhere. They probably have a proper name that I was given and forgot. But probably not just actually called time stones. see a pile of sand over there. Oh, there's these things I missed. Well, one of them's already down somehow. Being able to see the arc is nice. It'd be a nice uh, quality of life thing to have in other Zelda games. Which I guess would be functionally similar to having a scope on a, on a bow and arrow, like Jack always whines about. Alright, activate the factory. Where'd it go? Oh. That's right, it doesn't exist yet. Uh, so now where am I going? Doesn't look to be anything down, down there. This music track reminds me a lot of, uh, of Frank West's theme from Dead Rising. Freelancer? Very similar in tone. Although I guess it makes more sense here, this being like a like a, a desert temple, than it does for a. Uh, a bulky photographer. Oh boy, here we go. I don't 
don't like that these guys force me to use my shield. I wouldn't mind it if the shield weren't a uh, depletable item. This game really just needs, like, non-depletable shields. Even if I have to work for them. It is pretty forgiving with the shield timing, at least. Never played Dead Rising either. Neither have I. This is another one of those things that I've, I've seen but not played. There's a lot of series like that. Three is number one. Y'all like that uh, sick Zelda reference that the Zelda game just made? a little bit of a Great Bay Temple vibes from this. I guess because they're both factory-like, that, that's the only similarity. Termina was like the last time that uh, the Zelda series did technology. At least as far as dungeon designs go. Alright, is this a pinwheel door? Can I just, I can't get through here yet. No, I just, I can't get through here yet. Well, now I gotta swap items. This is gonna be slightly tedious. I'm gonna have to do them in order, aren't I? Man. I gotta do two, three, one. Hello, Apollo. Uh, did I already ruin this? I feel like I may have already fucked this up. I'll use my beetle to uh, save ammo. Yep, wrong order. Now here's a question. Are these, like, mirrored, or are they exactly as their opposite side of the room is? Okay, they're not mirrored. I got stuck on this for months? with this particular temple. There we go. Is there anything else over here? There does not appear to be. Oh, there's even, like, a little platform I could have stood on. Oh, well. Nope, other way. Take me back.
Alright, what's it? Oh, it's these guys again. I hate these guys. I don't want to fight Armos. Is there a health at least? One. I get one health. There we go. Maybe I can get both in one go with this one. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This time for sure. Nope. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. I did not do it. There we go. Alright, boss key or hook shot? Boss key. Maybe I'll get the hook shot the next time I come to this area. Maybe that's the item for the second half of the dungeon. Or however it works. Uh, we haven't seen the boss door yet, though. So where is that at? Over here? Yeah, it's the Zelda door. It's Zelda's aura. Let, let's go in pursuit of Zelda's aura. Uh, how do I get over? There's a door right there, apparently. Blow. Blow harder, Link. Blow like you're standing level at Ganondorf. Jump down, please. Oh, there's Beemos. Nope, you need to go. There we go. Oh, there was just a ladder I could have gone down. No, get up. Dink, please. Y'all gotta fix your pipes. This shit's thousands of years overdue. I wonder what the time frame is. We don't really get a, a, an exact number. Or even a general number. As to how long these robots have been gone. Zelda games like to be vague with their time periods. Alright, where's the door? What is this? Green Rupee. Alright, awesome. That was worth the time. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, this isn't so bad. The, for some reason, the wind gusts don't exist in the past. Oh. Oh, I have to bring this spot to the past in order for the boss door to exist. That That's bizarre. That is supremely weird.
how will this utilize the blow? See, if you're him for smart, you'd give me a boss that cannot be defeated, that needs an item that I don't yet have. Alright, they... Okay, when, when was... When was a uh, Majora 3D? What year was that? Was it close to this? Were they just on like a giant eye period? Actually, I can just I can sort. I think. It's like engine. I just gotta do with one limb at a time. Yeah. 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 2014, 2015 for Majora 3D. Well, what, what was this game? This year was like 2012, wasn't it? I don't remember, like, they didn't add giant eyes to Ocarina of Time 3D. Granted, I guess a lot of Ocarina bosses already had similar appendages. Like, Goma had a giant eye weakness. Ah, oh, I missed my shot. 2011, okay. It's a weird commonality. Because this is very similar to the giant eyes in the Majora bosses. Hello! Do I need to blow you out? What are we doing, friend? Friendo? Scorpion pal? Get out of here. You need to come up. Yep. Just a little bit of blowing. Not too much blowing. This fight only blows a little bit. No, he's too high. Uh-oh. Oh, this damage sucks. I can't sustain this. I don't think I have, like, a fairy or anything, either. Where are you? He's smart. He's dodging now. Again. I can't remember a time I've ever, like been under threat of dying to a Zelda boss before this game. I appreciate the difficulty, even if a lot of it comes from me fighting the controls. And a lot of it does come from me fighting the controls. Get up here. Where'd it go? It li it had a baby. There we go. Always gotta have a giant bug boss. It's just a prerequisite of every Zelda game. Majora was weird, and that the first boss was a sword warrior, and the last boss was a giant bug. They mixed it up for that one. No, Link, get the heart piece before it goes away. If you don't take it fast, Girahim's gonna get it. You don't want him to get it. I guess he wasn't here. I guess this was just 
this was just a bug who happened to live in this room. Well, we unlocked the, uh, like the, the minecart hub, I suppose. Are we get told off by Impa again? Is the master time rock. This looks like such a non Zelda room. This looks like a ratchet and clank room. This is weird. Like I'm gonna get to the end of the hall and Professor Oak is gonna put my party in the in the championship PC. What kind of tree is a kukui? It's kind of appalling that the the Alola professor wasn't like Professor Palm. dungeons fighting giant bugs risking my life. Her mission is to take baths and sing songs while her giant warrior woman cock blocks me. Alright. Okay. Impa can fight. I, I would expect her to be able to, but... I'd, I'd expected her to use, like, a sword or a weapon of some kind, not magic an, a magic ninja barrier, but I guess that counts. That, that can be a jutsu. Barrier, no jutsu. Wait, she just threw me a harp? Why is Zelda throwing instruments in my direction? <laughs> Dink. Yeah? Am I late this time? Thanks. You must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Sealed? Was there an old woman? Oh, that her. I remember her. Only I was only there two days ago. <laughs> I'll see you again. Thank you, Zelda. I'd rather hear that from you than from Impa. I, st I still don't like Impa. Giant <laughs> eyes gear him. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met. I'll take pleasure in punishing you. This this is some fast text for a Nintendo game. Usually Nintendo thinks their their like audience has a kindergarten reading level. Name one weapon stronger than the harp. I guess they're kind of, they tie it back to sheep a little bit. Like the harp is kind of Zelda's trademark weapon, uh, trademark instrument. Mm 
moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the sealed grounds. That's a little insulting, calling her the Ancient One. I hear you, but pile of sand. I might find five rupees. No, oh, that's just that's one of the ants. I have the ants already. Still have no I no idea why I'm collecting bugs. No, no one has expressed an interest in them. Have we met a bug collector? Was there one in Skyloft? Also, is this the Temple of Time? It is. There's there's my, there's my Goron buddy. Hold on. I see you, friend. But... But sand. But shiny. Wait, does that take stamina? Oh no, the stamina meter popped out because I, I pressed B for a brief moment. Okay, that that's the path back into the temple, the the, the mines that I was just in. Ooh. Yes, I made it inside. I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the way had been cleared. Oh, cause cause Girahim like smashed his way through. All right, was the where was the old lady? Was she at like the sealed grounds? I think. Also, where's the nearest bird statue? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, right here. Store some of that sand in your pocket. That's right, pocket sand. Who uses pocket sand? That that was like a meme. I for, I forget who like throws that out. That's right, I'm going to the sky. Oh, the the tall guy. You can sell him bugs at night in his room. Oh, Dale, okay. Is there like uh Is there, there like something to fill out? Is there like a bug encyclopedia? Is there a quest to to catch them all or are they just they're just worth money. Also, do you know where I get, like, a bigger pouch from? I, I, that's, like, the only side quest I really care about, is getting a bigger pouch. More than four items. Flat. Hey, Fletch. Just dropping in. <sighs> oh, hey, Dink. You're still... Do you, when do you get new dialogue anytime? Surely something else has been going on in Skyloft. What do those three women gossip about? How, what could possibly happen on this island of 20? Also, what is the actual population? Because I keep saying 20. It probably is about that. Maybe like 30. Oh, let me in. I don't like my room. I like this room. I'm just gonna sleep here all the time. Plop. Only Beetle sells them. Oh, she is here at night. 
Hey, what the fuck are you doing sleeping in my bed? I like how she's mad at me, but if I sleep for, like, the entire night through, she still won't be mad enough to, like, kick me out. She'll just kind of cross her arms and put up with it. I don't know where Groose is at. He sounded like he was, like, like gonna, gonna spring into action and, and join the fight to, like, bring Zelda home. get a pouch slot at the goddess chest beside the lumpy pumpkin. Goddess, I don't know what goddess chests are. I assume they're probably those chests that I was not previously able to open. Those like dark gray chests that I can't interact with. Unless I just don't know how to open them and I have the ability to. Hey, what's cooking? It is nice to have NPCs that, uh... I, th th this place feels relatively alive. Not quite the degree of Majora. I don't think we're ever going to quite match Majora again, but... Definitely more than Ocarina. I like the implication that had you not woken up, she would have just been standing there all night passive-aggressively. Yeah, I guess that is what she does. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, bugs. Bugs are amazing. Even more amazing than Groose. I just really like bugs. Ooh. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. Okay, sure. Rupees are no object. Oh, I get, it's creepy when he does it, but it's fine when Agatha does it, because she, she's, like, small and cute. You know what? I won't judge your bug hobby. Uh, tonight, I feel like buying Feron Grasshopper, Skyloft Mantis, Lanayru Ant. Do I have to have all three? Uh, I only have the ant. I wonder if his price changes. How many have you got there? Four? All of them. <laughs> the more goddess cubes you activate, the more chests that you can't use you can open. I see. So, it, it, like, every cube correlates to a chest. <laughs> okay, so I can only sell him certain bugs each night. Let's go see what Beetle's selling. That's, uh, once again, once per stream, I will walk into the toilet while trying to find the exit. Zoro moment. These bottom floor locked doors. Fine. I'll sleep in my room tonight. Actually, you know what? Let's check on Groose. Let's see if he's in his room. Are you still here? He is. Oh, he's, he's got his friend here. He's worried about him. <laughs> Driving me crazy. I've looked absolutely everywhere. Uh. Have, you, have you tried the ground? Bruce, that thing looks kind of fishy. Then one day it hits me. What if that's Zelda down there and she's sending me a signal? It's a sign! <laughs> yep, you do it. You c you go to the surface. Mm. Now, I I support you. You 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 should also come down to the surface. I've been there. It's pretty cool. 
By the way, I'm using your bed. And there's not shit you can do about it. Bruce just crosses his arms and pouts. No, he's just, he's been in the mirror all night. All day and all night. He doesn't need to sleep. Oh, there's actually like a classroom here. I don't know why that surprises me. Oh, hello. What do you think about Pippet? Why? He's nice. He's kind and caring and handsome and wonderful. Right, I'll, I'll play Cupid. I'll hook you up. What do you want? I've watched the movie Hitch, so I'm basically an expert. Alright, where am I going? I'm going to Beetle Shop. I want to see what he's selling now. I, I guess it just didn't occur to me that he would update his stock after I bought two items. I thought those were just the only three things that he sold. Can I blow his bell? Ring, ring! No? Alright. I will bug his bell. Will the bug be fast enough to catch up is the question. Barely. It is barely faster than his shop ship. He has all three pouch upgrades. Oh, there should be four because I have four slots and there are like eight total. So there's these three, and then there's the one that that person mentioned in the in the chest. But it's good to know where they are, though. All right, what is this? This is the heart thing. Mis a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects. Increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch. 300 rupees. Oh. And then, what else do you got? Just curious. Oh. Extra wallet. Okay. Oh. I, can get, I get a wallet increase and... Oh. Bug metal. You'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. No, I'm good. That doesn't seem worth it for my purposes in this game. Now, will he have another one if I leave and come back? Life metal gives you an extra heart. That's it. It's just 800, 800 rupees for one, for a heart container? Surely it does more than that. Okay, 600 rupees for the next one. I see. Well, I am one rupee short of the extra wallet. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's 100, 100 rupees, that's fine. So my maximum is now, uh... 1100. You. You're welcome, Beetle. How expensive is the- is, is there another wallet upgrade you've got? The, it's a very weird way they handle the wallet upgrades in this game. No, not that. You don't have enough rupees. If I just grabbed something and ran, what would Beetle do? Nothing. He can't chase me. Thank you. 
I'm glad that the extra wallets do not take up space in my pouch, like all of the other, like, size increase upgrades. Alright, so that's all the wallet increases I can get. The next, uh, the next pouch increase is, like, a, a huge amount of rupees, so that that's gonna be a little while. But now that I have extra pouch space, what, what should I add? I guess I can have both shields. That probably would be the best thing. Where's the... Where's the sexy lady? Hey, you! This is the item check. I bet you're just here to check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Alright, let's see it. Brace shield. Uh, no, I want to get retrieved from storage. My iron shield. I have small seed satchel. Medium bob bomb bag. I have so many seeds. Can I sell those? I didn't realize I could get multiple of them. What upgrades do you got for me? Also, just, I, I don't think I need to fix it yet, but I'm curious how much it takes to fix. Oh, that that's all 10 rupees? All right. Okay. You can sell them, there was a button to sell, okay. I assume it's 10 rupees per, unless... Oh, okay. Uh... There it is, there's a sell button. Yep, one more. I don't need multiple seed pouches. I'll just I'll upgrade the one I have. What are you selling? Anything new? Just same old stuff. Uh, same old stuff. I love spending time with Mr. Shopkeeper. Alright, what upgrades have you got? Uh... Nope, I don't have enough for bigger bug net. I need an evil crystal, which I have not found yet. Scatter shot requires the dust relics. Better beetle needs hornet larva. Shield needs monster claw, which I have... I could have... I found those before. I don't remember what they dropped from. Maybe like, uh, not Boko Blends. I think I used those on my previous shield upgrade. I'm missing, uh, Monster Claws for, uh, two of my, two of my potential upgrades. Alright, well, if I'm not going to get Rupee Pouch from uh, the Pumpkin Bar quests, then uh, that's all the more reason not to worry about them. I wouldn't mind getting more uh, Gratitude Crystals for Mr. Uh, Batro person. But uh, the, those seems like I'm going to get those from quests around Skyloft. I, I don't really want to, like, devote a lot of time to those, so... I guess I'll just kill myself. I forgot the bird button. Yes, hello, knight. Alright, 
I'm going to the green one. The green one is the 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 sealed grounds where the old lady was. Scene. Hello. He's doing it. He's joining me. Did he not have a parachute? He just fucking jumped. He thought, yeah, the ground will be soft. Yeah, rough landing. Think I might have broke something. Didn't have anyone ever teach you how to land? Hello, Bruce. Are you, are you just along for the ride now? We got a traveling buddy. That took balls. That's kind of what Yusuke and Kuwabara did with, like, the maze castle, didn't they? They just, like, jumped in a portal, assuming they'd have a nice landing. Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tell you and you might lead me to Zelda. Tail you, sorry. This is so wild. What is that thing over there? What's with all these trees? Give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? I was doing like a fake cronk and I've completely lost that. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Well, welcome to the lower levels. And then, then Link explained, without speaking, entirely through a game of charades, the details of his entire adventure up to this point. It took days. I think I get what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda's down here somewhere, and she's... okay? I don't know. Probably. She's with, like, some, like, ninja cockblock lady. <laughs> she's okay. Oh, it's so great. Duh ha ha. Duh ha ha. Hey, he did care about her. Sort of all right down here. This place needs a name. A name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. We'll call it... Grooseland. Like... like Graceland? Grooseland? The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is, supposedly. Okay, he's got it from here. We we can end our adventure. We can just go back and hang out in Skyloft. Groof, Groose will handle the rest of this quest. Wait, how are you going to get back? Do you know how to use bird statues? Do you have a plan, Groose? He'll jump. He's got strong legs. He'll just, he'll jump back up. Now it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. All right. See you later. He's following his uh, red pinky string straight to Zelda. What do you got to say about these birds? It's a cheery. Very small in comparison to loft wings, cheeries are probably of an average size for birds found near the surface. Yeah. Gonna <laughs> just rip those feathers off that bird. 
Hello, Mr. Goron. What are you doing here? Checking out the wonders of the world. What do you have to say about your research? I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. Get a load of this. Apparently there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Oh, that's right. I have a heart now. We'll get into the fascinating details of walls and statues. Something I'd better ask you about. What's a blessed butterfly? This kind of pretty blue butterfly. They're super hardy. They live in all kinds of places you'd never expect. Even in a land like this, you'll see plenty of them. Uh, I think I have at least one of those. Tell me about walls, Mr. Goron. These walls were left behind by the goddess. I still have questions about why she left or where she went. Okay, there's goddess walls. This is this is a bit of a dump. Okay, we, we got all of his research. Where's my harp? The harp is not one of my items. It is... Okay. So the five things in a circle are songs. That's not too bad. I can't, uh, I can't just, like, whip it out and play some notes. I need to... I need to find songs to play for it. So I guess it's like... Is it like scripted events? I also have two more items to find. Some kind of... Uh, is that like a sea lily bell? I think was an item in the Hyrule Warriors. And uh, what I assume are gauntlets. And the three things... We haven't gotten any of the three pearls or stones or whatever these three MacGuffins are. Dousing items. Oh, pouch. Okay. There's still there's still quite a number of MacGuffins in this game left to get. Now, where was the old lady? Uh, was she up here? I think. <laughs> Messing with me. Say it again, I dare you! I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. She can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us, as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. That's some Genkai attitude. <laughs> Yep, Kulbar and Genkai, it truly is them. How could it not be me? If it ain't me, why would I even be here? If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Oh, now I get you. It's all starting to come together. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've, I've got this cool sword. That's something. We haven't got a sword upgrade. We're still using the like the, the practice sword from the from the Skyloft dojo. <laughs> Greetings, Dink. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? So the Guardian was there as well. The one by her side is known as Impa. She is a being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. A being sent forth by the goddess. Okay. Now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. You must gather all the MacGuffins in the land. 
No, I, I, I tried to play the harp, kinda. I, I was not selectable. Press X to ready your harp. Okay. Slow your strum so they match the swaying of my braid. It's like a it's like a rhythm thing. It's like Wind Waker. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. Oh, she's gonna sing. We're gonna hear Genkai sing. The song I will sing will be of great help to you in your journey. Okay, this is this is very Hyrule Warriors. This this is where Sheik's like special attack comes from. This this ring of light. Granny's got chords. That harp thing is so difficult with motion controls, is it? Have we finally found a part that sucks more with motion controls? Link's shredding. I learned the Ballad of the Goddess. Okay. Interesting instrument of choice for this game. We've had an ocarina, we've had a baton that summons magical choirs. Was there an instrument in Twilight Princess? There was like the, the little the little whistle you called Epona with, but I, I guess it was Wolf Howls was the, the musical aspect. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the Goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. That was Sheik's instrument. That was Sheik's weapon. It was the Goddess Harp in Hyrule Warriors. Alright, this is the Gate of Time. The Poneglyph. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. There's always a parallel world. There's always a parallel world in a Zelda games, and it's never the same parallel world. There's the there's the Dark World slash Low Rule, which isn't even called the same thing in the two games it's in. There's the Sacred Realm and the Shadow Realm. There's the Twilight Realm. There's wherever we're going to go when we activate the Poneglyph. Your journey will put you in harm's way, Dink. You must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god... <laughs> The seal has been broken. Okay, are, are we gonna fight the, 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 the big toothy thing? There will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit, outside. I wanna read the Poneglyph. Just save in the middle of the earthquake. Just in case. The loot is in the first game. Was it a loot in the first game? I thought it was also a harp. I, I, I don't remember what was in the first game. Link's Awakening had a bunch of instruments. That was kind of the whole theme of the game. They also were just like... They weren't usable items. Holy shit, she's standing! There's nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach with caution. I'll just, I'll just jog down at a leisurely pace. I, I keep forgetting I can't get hearts from grass in this game.
There's some heart plants up there that I would like. Alas, I cannot reach them. Maybe from here. Well, kind of. I can kind of reach. No, no, I still can't reach them from here. Never mind. <laughs> that just lost me time. I don't want to jump down again and lose hearts. It's like going to the bottom of Area Zero, but with a lot less, uh, like, dialogue or lore or interesting music. Lick does his anime run all the way to the bottom of the pit. Alright, are we gonna fight the thing now? Is the imprisoned one. Alright. I've fought this thing before. I've played Hyrule Warriors. I gotta go for the toes. I gotta flail until it goes down. It really is exactly the same as in Hyrule Warriors. Alright, now it's gonna fall and I'm gonna attack its weak, weak point gauge. Hi, what do you have to say about this? I have insufficient data. Tell me more! Nope. Got nothing more. Uh... No? Uh, hmm. Do I have any items that could help me? Bombs, maybe? Probably not. I feel like I'm missing something important. No? Well, hmm. Maybe there was like an A button interaction that I didn't see. Look at the beast's forehead. Did you see the ceiling spike? Drive it back into its head. Okay. I'll try. It's nice of it to uh, keep hearts in its toes for me. I appreciate that. How am I going to drive a spike? Okay, no, I just got to do a certain type of swing. I'm going to do an upward swing. That's what it is. And it gets mad, and it, like, scurries around. No, don't go higher up. Wait, no. I'm not up there yet. And it grows its toes back. Really is telling how faithful Hyrule Warriors is to all of this that 
I can actually estimate how the boss fight goes based on that completely different game. This guy's actually a lot more threatening in that game. I don't really feel like I'm at risk here. Also, it's a good thing he falls backwards, because if he falls forward, I wouldn't be able to do anything about that spike. I wonder what it feels like to be a giant black scale monster. I know who's really in there. I'll bet he's not very comfortable. Ow. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Those stomps hurt a lot a bit in Hyrule Warriors. That's a, that's a very damaging attack. Like of all the giant bosses, this is the one that will fuck you up the most. I bet this was a uh, stressful boss for a lot of people. It's not a very difficult boss, but like Majora's Mask, you're on a timer to deal with it. I assume we can't let it reach the top of the pit. So there's like a, like a failure cutscene. I don't know if there's like a game over or what happens. Not gonna find out now. Like I should shade this now. There's a big criticism. You're going to be fighting this boss multiple times in the same fashion. Does he get any harder? Like, surely he, like, takes more hits or he climbs faster, at least. That's not terribly rare for video games to have, like, bosses or mini-bosses that you fight a few times. Not defending it, but... It's not like this is the only game that makes that dumb decision. <laughs> I gotta jump down, lose a heart in order to get there in time and hit it with a skyward strike. Uh, wait, how do I do that? Is it the, this, this thing? That was, okay, that was the one. It wasn't a hard or time-consuming fight, so... Eh. I'm... 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 I'm doing the... What am I doing? I'm moving my right stick and nothing's happening. Okay, there it goes. I gotta, like, flick it. I gotta flick it... Fastly. The Shadow Queen just keeps busting out, and Mario just keeps having to put her down over and over again. Never quite fully sealed. Oh, oh. Wow, you walked down here fast. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Her name is the old one. I guess that's slightly more respectful than the ancient one. The he the behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. 
what, what is her stupid hat? Did I not realize just how tall it was until now? It's like almost two times Groose height. It's over two times Link height. Alright, back to the temple. Let's just follow her up at Dompe walking speed. Oh, don't be sad, Groose. You can help. Why don't you go do some side quests for me? You know what? I got a debt at an inn. Why don't you go up at that inn and work a few hours for me? That would really help me out. It is. It is a Doug Demodome hat. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike might just do it. She's too nice to be Genkai. She only gets mean when she's dealing with Kuwabara. You and your sword must grow together. Yeah, now we gotta go to three places to like... Oh no, we don't have the starting sword. I completely forgot. It was kind of a major plot point. We got the goddess sword. That, that That's that's where our, our G GPS friend is living. Okay. We got to uh, seek out three sacred flames and purify our sword in order to uh, fully awaken the master sword. I mean the goddess sword. Different sword. Totally different. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people. Return to Skyloft. Okay, we need to talk to someone with, with music knowledge. Can we can we bring Bruce back, or is he just stuck down here? Because he doesn't have a he doesn't have a piece of cloth. He's got his game face on. <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. You sell yourself short, my friend. You have a spirit sword. Where's he gonna go? Is he gonna walk over to the... He's gonna just kind of wander off, and he's gonna meet the Kikwis, and he's gonna hang out with them for the rest of the game. I like you guys. You're all right. <laughs> the flaccid trombone just follows Goose around. Yeah. All right. Back to Skyloft. Back to Hub World. What was here? Was there like a sword here or something? I don't remember what this was. I'm sure it wasn't wasn't important. Just, uh, hanging out with the birds. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. I... You could have tried. I'll, I'll bet you could have, like, punched those toes real good. What if I just don't? What if I just don't walk over to him? What if I just leave him like this? I guess I have to leave him. He'll get over it. He needs alone time. 
Where's a bird statue? Well, it's okay, buddy. You'll feel better. Pat, pat. Bird statue. He is a pouty guy. He's also not totally self-centered, though. Like, he, he does actually care about Zelda and her well-being. That's kind of why I can't, like, totally hate Mineta in My Hero Academia. Like, if you pay attention, he, like, expre he expresses concern for his classmates a lot of the time. And not just the female classmates. He's, he's just, he's an alright dude. If you look for the moments. Is he really just gonna, like, stand in front of that wall for several chapters from here on out? Is that all he's gonna do? Uh, bird statue. Where is the- where's a bird- I just want to go to the sky! Uh... How leave? You know what? I should look at my map. That's what I should do. There's one. There's a bird statue. I just gotta go this way. Right? This map was so simple, so navigable. Why is it suddenly not? No, there's a fence there. Why is there a fence there? Why would you put an updraft to a place with a fence? Bird statue? I just want to leave. I'm here. I see where it is. I, I gotta... Okay. So, I gotta go back into the temple and out that door. That's the only way I can get to this area here. All of the statues are blocked off from this exit of the temple. What an annoying layout. I just- I went out the wrong door, is all this was. Wait, wait. Gotta get this five rupees. Revitalizing potion. Okay. Fully replenishes your shield gauge. Oh, wait, no, is that... Wait, is that an extra bottle? Is that... I... Was that just sitting here this whole time and I just never opened it? I could have had another bottle immediately.
wouldn't wouldn't hurt to have uh, two bottles in my pouch, but uh, I need to get I think it was six hundred rupees for the next pouch upgrade. How much is the final pouch upgrade he sells going to be? Found some what? Oh, the butterflies. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've, I've caught them before. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. That's, I mean, I don't need tones, though. Hello. It's a Sheikah stone. Those were added to Ocarina of Time 3D. So they must have... I get... Maybe it's not a... Is it, is it called a Sheikah Stone in this? Gossip Stone. Okay, there's not, they were not called Sheikah Stones until uh, Ocarina 3D. Find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty, and a Gossip Stone will pop. Okay. So what? Are you useful to me? What can I do with a Gossip Stone? What, I, I, one more time. What, how is that useful? Mm -hmm. They just give hints? Is that all? Because I don't need that. Now get out of here. Gossip Stones. Still useless. Where's the... Where's the... Where's the... I want to leave. Let me leave. Bird statue. There's the bird statue. Finally. Yeah, Phi already has like 12 types of hints that you can get at any time. Why would I need to go through the trouble of summoning something to give me a different hint? So I can get copies of the GBA Crash games. You're going to buy a... Like you're gonna buy physical copies rather than emulate? I think the only handheld games that I still have are the uh, are my Pokemon games, which I will be selling in the near future. Uh, so what am I looking- I'm looking for someone who knows about songs. My first guess is gonna be one of the instructors, which I probably should have, like, dropped to the academy, not- not here. Butterfly. There ain't no stones here. Lying Goron. Lady, what do you know about music? These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. It's Moaning Myrtle. We gotta ask her about music. Wait, the restroom or the bathroom?
What about you? Do you know music? Uh, Fledge. Surely Fledge is musically gifted. Oh, he's not here. That's right. Fledge has a nice interior decorating sense. His room looks nice. Uh, who else is around? The instructors are upstairs. Mr. Owlan, what are your thoughts on music and Middle Earth? Mm. Nothing. Okay. Useless. Got it. What about the other elf on the premises? George Horwell, no. what do you got for me? He's just the cat guy. You've got a plant room, you've got a cat room. Pippin. Pippin, sorry. Do you know music? how she has some uh, ang angry birds on the floor. Gratitude crystal. Why do I have a gratitude crystal? Can I read this? Do I have a diary? No. What am I studying? Just birds? Yeah, I see. this dink studies birds. He's like he likes birds. Oh, he does wood carvings. We get like a, a little a little look into what what dink. Dink, the, Dink has a personality. Personality. We get to see a little bit of how he lives as compared to, like, every other Link. I've got, like, uh, sports team flags, too. I saw that in the back of the cupboard. <laughs> to think Skyloft would have sports teams... You have five people on one side, five people on the other side, and then ten people in the cha in the stands, and that's the whole town. Oh, uh, where am I going? The, the bathroom. Moaning Myrtle. Teach me about music. Paper? Do I have paper for the toilet hand? Uh, I don't know where I would get paper. I don't have any. Ah. Haven't done this in a little while. Hey! Yeah. Surprise! Just smacked her on the head. Uh. Who else is here? I don't know where Owl Man hangs out. I thought he had his own room, but this just. I only saw the doors for the, the two elves. Owlin and Horwell. Yeah, there's just the two doors. 
Still can't get in the bath. We don't know who's in there all night. Karane. Karen. Do you know music? How many days have you gone without taking a bath now? Should really find out who's in there. I guess I could ask Fledge. My first assumption was that, like, the, the, the moaning ghost might have something music related, but I, I think it's just... I think it's just moaning. I, I don't think it's musical moaning. I think that's an unrelated side quest. Oh, Fledge! You working out? You getting swole? All right, well, don't let me bug you. Hey, Dink. What am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though. So I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. It's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. If only there were a potion that would give me stamina. Bad chance, right? How do you have the bootstraps expression? That that's like that's like an American like post industrial phrase. Stamina potion. What is a sta that's like a specific type of potion they sell at the potion place, I think. Do I just have to, like, talk to every person in the town until I find someone who knows about music? Maybe Beetle knows about music. He seems like a guy that would know how to rock out. Hello? Dink, it's you! Don't sneak up on me like that! I got a serious dilemma on my mind! Okay. What? How can I help? Dink the Helpful. He cares about your problems. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. I do? Well, that's one of them, I guess. Mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Why are you looking at the restroom? This is no ordinary piece of paper, it's a letter! They're, re they're really, like, pointing out what you're gonna do with this piece of paper. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's pretty cute. Well, I, I, even, even if this guy is kind of, like, a bit of a shit, I don't, I don't want to use his love letters toilet paper. That's just mean. That's not what a hero does. Take extra care that you don't use it as toilet paper. Okay, but could you also give me a piece of normal, like, paper without writing on it? Because I do need something for the toilet guy. No? Darn. If only I were not mute, this would go much better. Yeah. 
So if I give it to her, here's what I'm gonna guess happens. She rejects him, but uh, he doesn't give up, and he just keeps writing love letters until you give one to the toilet guy. That's how I'm guessing this is gonna go. Surely this is related to my quest for a musically inclined person. Surely. What if I just can't give it to her? What if Link does- uh, sorry, Dink doesn't even consider that as an option? You need to talk to me? Just come find me sometime during- no, I- d fine. Alright, I'll find you during the day. Wait, Dink, I didn't mean- God damn it, Dink. All right, where is she? Oh, this is his room. I thought that was one of the exits, because it's like double doors. Do you- Mister, do you know anything about music? Mm. This is promising. Things must be terribly trying for her to be down there. Can't be easy for you now either, can it? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? I'm not much of a singer. SING IT, BROTHER! I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. If it's the lyrics, I can recite them. Okay. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. Show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower. The two whirling sails. We gotta get Groose a sail. He's gonna join us for this one. Two whirling sails the way to the light tower. It's in the plaza. Okay. Alright, so it's on Skyloft. Whatever we have to do. I mean, she really just said, like, don't talk to me at night. It was a bad, bad time for a love letter, I suppose. Uh... Do a quick save. Does she still hang out at, like, the, the dojo? I think that was the first place that we found her during the day. Karane, where are you? Sparring Hall. Aegis, what are you up to? That sword you're carrying isn't from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact and can only be carried by the Chosen One. But he's not supposed to be the Chosen One yet. Okay, Secrets of Defense. Lower your shield, swing your sword, or press B to put your sword and shield away entirely. Okay. Doing it. Do I get anything for that? Ah, oh, I'm good. I'd probably do something to, uh, like, get a heart piece or some kind of reward here, but... 
I don't want to, I don't want to like keep doing all of his dialogue until I find whatever that is. This place isn't that big, but it's just big enough that it's annoying to find one NPC that you need. Maybe she's at, like, the, uh, at the bazaar area. Karani's on a bazaar adventure. Okay, we're, we're also, where's the plaza? Statue of the Goddess... What, what counts as the pla- is this the plaza? There's a stone there, apparently. Graveyard, light tower. That's the plaza. Alright. So that's where my, my whirly stuff is, I guess. What's down here? Have I been down here before? I slipped. Yes, yes, you saved me. You don't gotta brag about it. Surely I've been down here. Yeah, I've been down here because there's a treasure chest that's open. Climbs faster than Twilight Princess Link. It's a very low bar. Alright. Where is Karen? This is the statue. I'll just go to the plaza. Maybe she's around there. There's that chest that we keep seeing, but I guess we haven't activated the cube that we need to open it. Here's the whirly things. There's one of them. There's two. Not you, turnip child. Hey, you seen Karen? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I also need to, uh... I also need to get, like, a stamina potion for, uh, Fledge. Fletch. Where's the other whirly thing? Hey, hey Fledge. <laughs> grab that stamina potion before I forget. I know I've seen her during the day, and I just can't remember where. Damn, and a potion. Guardian potion. Stamina potion. Revitalizing potion. No, that's the one I have. Which is, which is, can you just put, like, oh. signs in front? Yeah. Is this the stamina po- no, that's the heart potion. Uh. 
Wait, there's a potion for your stamina meter? Mm. It'll decrease more slowly for a short time. Okay. So there is a way to temporarily power up your stamina meter. <laughs> That'd be annoying if it was mandatory anywhere. Thankfully, I don't think it is. Uh, yes? No, I'm good. Hey, do you know where Karen's at? That would be helpful. Uh, Fledge. Fledge, I got your thing for you. Hey! No, look, I have your- I have your potion. Do I need to give it to him at night? No! Ah, I drank it! Ah, oh, I did the thing like the witch in Termina! Do I still have it? No, I drank it. Ah! That's 50 rupees wasted. I assume I have to give it to him at night, because he's not hes not saying, Oh, is that a stamina potion you have? Mm. Alright, I'll buy another one. 50 rupees isn't that bad. At least now I can run around faster and find Karen. I also only saw one of the things that I need to hit. Maybe, maybe I hit that one and then it, it like reveals the second one. She has to be somewhere. It's going to be toilet paper. Uh... Is it going to go in a complete circle? Oh, that light was an indicator of where I had to stop it, wasn't it? There we go. Alright, where's the second one at? Also, what are these? Do these go anywhere? No, they're just sheds that go nowhere. Uh... I, oh, there it is. Karen? No, you're not Karen. You're Sylvester Stallone. Alright. Uh, wait, no, this isn't a whirly thing. I can't use this. 
You're curious about that windmill. Pretty smart design, I gotta say. You can turn the windmill so that it always will catch the wind no matter which way it's blown. There should be this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it. Must have dropped down off the edge down beneath the clouds. <sighs> Does no one care about the sword spirit that just comes out and talks to him sometimes? Yeah, we gotta keep we gotta keep Link's uh, wolf transformation a secret because it might scare people. It's fine that I have like a robotic ghost that pops out of my body sometimes. That's fine. Yeah. By the propeller, I could probably rig some together. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to go hunting for the item. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. How how does how how does technology in Zelda always operate in reverse? How did you have a drone in the past but not not anymore? Also, where the hell is Karen? Well, I guess I have to like Was it was that a hint that I need like a drone? In order to get this thing, like surely I can, I can just go down there and find it, right? <sighs> who who did he say had the drone? Gondo. Okay. If I run into Karen, great. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I don't care that her name is actually Karane. She's Karen now. Oh, I think I remember where she is. She's in the classroom. Well, let me talk to Gonzo real quick. Wait, you got a quest for me? Got something new in stock. It's a very mysterious shield called a Sacred Shield. Okay. It can handle all variety of attacks. Fire, electricity, and it automatically repairs itself when it sustains damage. What do you mean automatically repairs itself? I mean, I'm curious. I'm interested. I don't have 500 rupees at present, but may maybe later. Hey! There must be some reason not to. It automatically repairs itself. What, ha what does it matter that it's fragile if it repairs itself? Huh? Yeah. I, I need your old robot. Get in line, I've heard it before. That's not why you're here. You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot. Now, why do I assume that? I can just go there. Um, yes, I believe in drone technology. I've seen it. I fought them. I, I repelled missiles back in their general direction. It's called... It's a scrapper. He was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. I have several! I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming off its stem! Yep, that's all you need to fix robots. You just, like, squeeze magic juice on them. It's just like Paldia. You just douse a robot in magic and it will work again. We ha we have Claptrap. We have a cl we have acquired Claptrap as a flying robot friend. Yeah! 
Are you sure it was him? Bzzz. Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. He doesn't care about us. That's fine. Serving children is very low in my task priority. Hey, children, I'm, I'm a hero. I like, I don't know, 16, 17. Ch children is a little insulting. Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing ability. Okay. Why did that only just happen now? It will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. I'll put it in my fucking teeth! Oh. Okay. It's- it, it's a robot that- that, like... It's a horny robot. I get it. I- I see what's going on here. Simpbot activate. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Zzz. I guess it's the equivalent of a human simping for, like, a ghost. A robot simping for, like, a, a, a robotic spirit. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fi's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fi to call me, and I will arrive with haste. I got okay. I got to use the fortune teller to find treasure. I guess. Well, I shouldn't need it for this one because I can douse it. Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm. I'll come to you as a last resort. Mr. or Misfortune person. Alright, so what what else have I got? I gotta go to the school to visit... <clears throat> visit Karane and give Fletch his potion and not drink it in front of him this time. Link, no, open the door. Don't run up it. Well, with his ability to run up walls, this Link should be, like, the second best at parkour. After, obviously, Majora Link, who is the master of parkour. Does she have a new quest? What is it? What is this? What is this text? This dialogue? That's the restaurant. Okay. I haven't done a pot yet. This is important. Every time I see this woman, it's a tradition, okay? Oh, it hit the ceiling. Alright, classroom. Is she in the classroom? Yes, she is. We found her. Oh, Pippet. How can I get you to notice me? Uh... Could it be from Pippet? I didn't say that. Wonder who it's from. That's some really terrible handwriting. Never mind that, let's see what it says. Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. He opened a love letter with greetings. This Colin guy, isn't he one of Groose's flunkies? This is a love letter from that Colin kid? <laughs> he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider it. Dude, she's nice. I like Karen. Oh, never mind. She ruined it. Wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. Hi. 
So, uh, I don't still have the letter, do I? What about, what about one of these? I just grab, like, these are clearly blank pieces of paper. I could just take one of these with me, right? This is a stupid quest. Dink is stupid. Hey, I don't think it's gonna work out. Sorry, guy. Was that- I thought you wanted me to do it. Am I not gonna get another one? <laughs> Did I fail the toilet hand quest? Is that a hint that I should talk to Pippet? Wait, where's Pippet's room? Come to think of it. He must have one. Hey, what do you got to say? Karana got a love letter. That's interesting. Wow! What do you think she intends to do? She's gonna date him. You gotta move in, bro. It's not like there's anything going on between me and Karana, you know? Why you gotta be so Sundere? Ranma, just, like, make a move. Date Akane. You both like each other. Everyone knows it. Ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that... ...can't be called love. <laughs> okay. So, you, you like her? I don't even understand how you could make... I, 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 I kinda like her. Other than, like, she was kind of mean just now, but other than that, I don't know. She's a solid silver medal. This, we, we are, we are literally doing, like, a Takahashi romance. Oh, anime high school stuff. Could you not at least both be on the same story? Here we go. You're the one who sent the letter, right? <laughs> Tee hee. It was wonderful. <laughs> What's your answer? Hey. <laughs> that was a good noise. Alright, up. We 90210 in here. This Tamadachi life situation. Oh, she chose the guy who came in. Ah, poor Colin. He kind of deserves it, but... Well, this is just kind of sad for a few people, a few ways. Especially the toilet hand. I feel most sorry for the toilet hand. Okay, well, there's some more gratitude crystals, at least. So there's still a lot of, like, collectible stuff that I have not never gotten. Of course. It's gotta be the two beautiful people who hook up. Everyone else, forever alone. Does anyone have a piece of paper for me? Let's go to Fledge's room. I'll sleep in his bed for a little while. He won't mind. Yep, 
I got you your stamina potion. Here you go. <sighs> really? Thank you! I owe you one! <laughs> eh. I got fledge germs on my bottle. <sighs> Just that this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Yes, you can! <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams! Thank you, Dink. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Yeah, you, you, you get swole. You put in that work. What else was I doing? I, I guess that was it. Uh, alright. Well, let's go down, uh, let's go down to the surface where... I can, does day and night only exist in Skyloft? I guess everywhere else is clover, is covered by, like, permanent clouds, but... How do we get daylight down there? I just thought of that. It's just always bright and sunny on the surface, despite it being covered by magical clouds at all times. Ah, wrong button again. Can we skip the you saved me part? Okay, so the population of Skyloft is bigger than it seems. It's just got like half of the people out flying on patrol at all hours. No, I want to jump off. Where's my jumping off point? Let me out. Let me leave. Down. No, summon bird. I swear I'm pressing the button. You have such a short window to, to call the stupid bird. Why do these people bird board their birds in the stupidest possible fucking way? Board them on the ground. Down. I'm pressing down. I'm pressing it. Is it sleeping at night? Am I unable to board my bird at night? Don't let me catch you going out flying at night. <sighs> Can I buy, like, a headlamp for my bird? Can I fly at night then? I can't even go in the lower door. Yeah. What are these? Just decorations? Uh, I don't want to climb the stupid boxes. Why do they lock the lower door at night? Pippet, do you have the key? Can you let me in? I gotta go through this whole song and dance just to- I, I just want to leave. I want to go flying on my bird. So I can get a windmill. So I can put it on a bigger windmill up here. So I can learn a song that will allow me to- I don't even know what the song is gonna do yet. I need to go to my room. Where's, where's, I'll, let's use Karane's bed. Karane has the most convenient bed. It's so nice. Excuse me. God damn it, Dink! Get the hell out of here.
Exit. Where's the jumping off point? I want to leave. I want to get off this flying prison. I pressed it! I pressed the downer. Is it only- can I only do it at the wooden platforms? Is that the only place that I can mount my bird? These knights are so fed up with me. They're so sick of saving me. I thought I could do it any time- anywhere I could, like, jump off the island. how you catch bugs. You just kind of run around and waggle. This is how the pros do it. Very effective. I guess you have to be in the diving animation. And he's not- he, it, when he just like jumps off a ledge he doesn't go into the diving animation. Surely that's the final area of the game, whatever's in that big circular cloud. Where's Skypea? I want to go meet Eneru. I want to go swimming in the Cloud Sea. Yeah. All right, where's the where's where's the thing? Uh, what is this blue beacon? Do I have any? I don't have any way of knowing where the thing might be. It f it fell right off of uh, right off of Skyloft, so it should be relatively close below it in theory. Have I got you yet? Come down here. Oh, come closer. Beetle, please. Oh, the beetle's gone. Alright. Uh... Nothing. Which probably means it's in Farron Woods. Is this what you meant by revisiting the areas? I'm gonna have to find, a, like, a random thing here in the Farron Woods, and then I'm gonna have to find another thing in the, in the, in the volcano area. Just go on a treasure hunt in each area. Never enough dousing. He was really excited to get that dousing sword out. It could be anywhere, couldn't it? How far in do I have to go before I get a dousing signal? You still got those tier segments to do? Tier segments? Huh? Oh, the... the yeah, I, I know what you mean by that. Am I on the right track for the, like, the dousing thing? 
Like, it's not showing a reading. Do I just need to go in further? I don't know why Link just suddenly, like, looks up when he walks down a hill while dousing. But if it's not showing any reading at all, I have to assume it's just not in the area. I got bombs now, so I can go, you know, whatever this is. Alright. Heart piece. They're pretty rare in this game. We don't run into them very often. Didn't miss this mechanic. Hello, Mr. Beetle. Come down. Come on. You were supposed to go back to the temple. Okay. Did the old lady have it? Does she just, like, collect things that fall from the sky? Alright, new bug. Uh, there's that. Can I get there? I wonder if I can get to that block with the tools that I now have. No, I cannot. I need the hookshot. Alright. Uh... Sad Link gets hit with rocks. By temple, you mean the place where the old lady is, not the... not the Skyview Temple. Come down, please. Mr. Beetle. I don't like catching these ones. I'm gonna not. Oh, sexy lady! Have you found any pinwheels? Okay. No, you told me that. See, I, I've done a thing, and I found another thing, and I got to a point where I need I need a pinwheel in order to advance my song quest. No? You can't help with that? Uh... The temple, huh? At the entrance. The sealed grounds?
Hey, Groose. You doing okay? Yeah. All right. There's uh, no reading whatsoever out here. At the other entrance, maybe? The area you came in from. I'm glad I have you helping me because I would not be able to do this. I I'd be stuck at this point. I would have to, I would be, like, just scouring every inch of this, this Farron Woods place and still probably not find it. This does not seem like a high point of the game. Well, here's the entrance. Still no reading anywhere. This is a very not useful dousing mechanism. This is where I started from. Goron, do you know anything? No, you're, you're still stuck on these statues, okay. I, I have no idea what to do. I go bowling, I guess. Go bug catching. Not gonna find any pinwheels, apparently. Uh, well, given the situation, I fear I have no choice but to resort to the mystic art of fortune telling. They kind of hinted at talking to that guy, and I guess I have to spend the ten rupees on him. Because I don't know what else to do. This is a new part of the game. I'm sure once we, like, figure out how this works, like, future segments will go along faster. Alright. What do you have, have for me? Yeah, I will pay your ten rupees. Uh, well, both. I, I need treasure to proceed, so I guess I did treasure? Yes, gaze into your crystal ball. What do you and your man bun see? A towering forest. Sand yet? I, I know those places. The forest, I think. That, that's the one I'm looking for. <clears throat> Bird fa- uh, yeah? No, I need the pin I need the pinwheel. Amber relic and dusk relic. That wasn't helpful. All right. Uh, I guess I wasn't specific enough. Tell me where to next. see a mountain of fire but it's not in the forest area even though it like what like shown I could have sworn it showed the sky map and it was like focusing on the forest hole <clears throat> just down the mountain from the temple 
Okay. Well, I, we know where to go now, I guess. That was helpful. No, he just said the fire temple. It's not in the forest area at all. Where's the fire one? Where's the red hole? This area looks so much smaller than the other two. Alright, temple entrance. And then we're gonna go down the mountain. I apologize for this. Actually, you know what? You silly goobers. Is a silly game. Now watch, this is gonna be too low. I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up the slope. Uh, yeah, it looks like that was too low. I have to go down a different path, I guess. Fine, he's not bothering anyone. This is very whimsical music for a volcano. Also, we still don't have whatever item we need to, uh, to like withstand the heat. Hello. We saw this before. I remember seeing this. Robot telepathy. I wish I could remember where we saw, like, the color wheel. We saw, like, a roulette buried in the ground. I wonder if that's going to be related to the guy on that, like, uh, roulette island, or if that's going to be one of these kinds of treasures that we have to find for plot. Alright. At last we can continue with plot. I just have to climb all the way back up to, uh, one of the bird statues. That's okay, that wasn't too far. I have learned not to disrespect the uh, fortune-telling prowess of Man Bun. Where's the, there's the bird statue.
Oh, he just he flies along with me. That's neat. All right, keep up. He can't keep up. I shouldn't have doubted him. Oh, it even puts me right at the pl at the place I need to be. That's convenient. All right, Mr. Stallone, I got a propeller for you. Look at this cool robot I got working for me. Well, technically, she it works under the person who works under me. I, I'm like middle management, kind of. Yeah. I guess I'll try to fix this thing. Wait, who's his wife? Have we met? No, oh, I guess I don't get to see her. Alright. Well, that's that chapter done. Oh, wind, please. There we go. This one's gotta spin <laughs> in the in the less convenient direction. If I face these the right way, can I pilot Skyloft? Can we, like, can we fly to a different part of the sky? Alright. Up to the lighthouse-like structure, I suppose. Oh, this is where I learned the song, that's right. Hello. Let's sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance under her chosen hero shall fall, a piercing ray of guidance. Okay. doing it? I don't think I'm doing it. Uh... Am I do it here on the light, maybe? I guess that was correct. She sings. the weird shit we do to communicate with a goddess. Just because she did she got bored. She didn't want to hang out here anymore. Oh, here we go. Do we have a hole into the into the cloud circle? 
high probability this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. Okay. New area? He's fine, he can take it. He's got he's young. He's got good legs. I should just, like, take that chest and throw it to the ground. Surely that would open it. Well, that was, that was a brief inconvenience. Note to self, do not fly into tornadoes. Oh, come on! Why are there tornadoes in the sky? They should, they should like, start on the ground. Also, I'm glad this beam is, like, non-damaging. Inside the Thunderhead. Okay. What is this area? This is, like, the monster zone? There's a lot of bad things in here. I feel like the... I feel like the Wind Waker seagulls trying to dodge the the Helmrocks. It's very similar to that. Alright, well here I am at this place. What is in this place? There's a treasure chest here. Is this- I think this is one of the goddess chests. And it's just- it's a gold rupee. Don't tell anyone. Is there an entrance? No? Okay. Uh, well, hopefully I can summon my bird from here. Yeah. I, just, I need to go up onto this one, maybe. Splat. What is this convoluted? I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate it was left here for you by the goddess. Is this, who is- is the goddess Papyrus? From Undertale? What, what is her obsession with weird convoluted puzzles? Oh, here we go. What is this? Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the Great Tower. Okay. Uh... Well, that's one of them. What does this do? Can I push these? No? I think I see what is happening. Okay, so I need to... I need that one up. around more. I just, I gotta line up 
I've got to line up all three of these things. It's not as hard as it looks, but it, it does look very complicated. This is, again, this does not look like a puzzle that I would expect a small child to be able to solve. There we go. I gotta crawl inside. Y'all can't put a door on this. Okay, bird statue. Save point. Is this the part where Fi sings a song for me? Okay, here we go. This is a very musical game. People like to sing in this game. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. What, what do you mean, the edge of time? Why do you gotta hang out there? Why can't you be here? You must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial, you should be, you should be blessed by one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. I missed that last te that last text box, but I'm learning a song. Okay, do I play the harp differently to play this song, or is it just, like, automatic? Are these songs just basically flags, is what I'm wondering. This is called Furore's Courage. It has a rousing melody. Alright, we have to overcome trials and receive three gifts. I have committed Furore's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability, ability to search for the gate, leading to the first trial you must face. Alright, now we, get, we start the part where we're going back to the places that we've been. Other than the volcano, I guess. We get out of here. We just have to fly out. Okay. What happens if we fall out here? We just, uh, are, are we just screwed? Surely there aren't knights like here who will save us. What is this place? This is a colorful island, but it's not 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 the place that 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 dude's daughter is. I guess she wouldn't be in here, would she? We have more of our map now. We do. We have a map inside the Thunderhead. What is this? I wonder that island is. Well, 
I think we will go to Feror's Woods. We'll find the place that we need to start the next thing, and then we'll uh, we'll call it for the day. And then next time we will do the uh, three trials, or as much of them as we can get done in one sitting. At least. I don't know how expansive these trials are. I'm assuming they're all like. Uh, I'm assuming they're each like dungeons, in their own rights. Maybe not. Maybe we're not at that point that we're doing dungeons again yet. Even with the speed boosts, flying feels so slow in this game. Just let me fast travel. Just let me go to the woods. I've been there before. I know the way. Give me the song of soaring, please. Uh, Farron Woods. Let's say... Viewing platform. Let's start from there. I have detected the aura of a trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this aura using dousing, I conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs, for Or's Courage will reveal the gate. Am I gonna have to, like, go back to that aisle after each of these? I wonder. Well. It's not near here, by the look of things. Wait. Did we find it already? Did we come to exactly the right place? It is conspicuously... Right here! Well, that was a convenient warp choice. This is the extent of uh, Dink's musical talent. He just knows how to uh, sweep a heart back and forth while Fi does the heavy lifting. He's not quite as musical as the other Links, I'm afraid. Feror's favorite instrument is a Playmobil xylophone. I guess that's fitting. She's like the sprightly forest spirit of the three. Like Saria. This mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on the Isle of Songs. Thrust your sword into the center of the... Okay. I'm gonna save before I do this, just in case there's not, uh, there's not like a save point inside. now? No, it doesn't. Alright, what is this? Is this the same area, but, like, transformed? Is this the inverted version of the level? I gotta collect bumpa fruits, do I? As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of the places known as Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, Feror's Silent Realm, tests the limits of your courage. Courage, huh? reach the location of the flames, 
It is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. Okay. By spiritual growth, do you mean solving puzzles and swinging my sword around? Okay, this, this is the spirit tears part. So by spiritual growth, you mean collecting MacGuffins. I need 15 tears. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for good reason. I like how even Fi is telling you, hey, this is gonna suck. I'm sure it won't be that bad. If a guardian lands even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter, it shatter and you will fail the trial. Okay, yeah, I got it. So I'm just gonna be, like, I'm gonna have these guys chasing after me. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Get collecting one halts their movement for 90 seconds. It's, it's Pac-Man. I got a light fruit. Reveals the... Okay. <laughs> Woo! But can I save in here? I cannot save in here. Alright, that, that's all I wanted to find out. Oh, how quick, how quick is this gonna be? This doesn't seem like a thing that would take a long time. The tears in Twilight Princess did not, were not things that would take a long time. This unusual liquid substance is known as waking water and has certain unique properties. Okay. I just, I, I looked at chat for a split second. That's fine. I can dodge him. I'm good at dodging. It's just, it's Zelda Pac-Man. I gotta collect the dots and I gotta avoid the ghosts. I gotta collect 15 power pellets. It's interesting. I don't, I don't mind this. This is this is honestly way more interesting than the tears in Twilight Princess. That was that was just kind of run around as a wolf. Okay, these these are the these are the dusk relics I needed for some of those upgrades. I wonder if they're finite or if they just if I can like redo these trials and they'll respawn. <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the forest off. Wait, no, I can still I can still do puzzles. I can still move things. I don't know why this would be a point of contention for people. Uh oh, whoops. Blink cannot control his jumping. stuff. Okay. Uh, there's no avoiding this one. 
Wait, no, there is. I just have to, uh, the, the water, like, comes and goes. The waking water. They don't like the guardians that insta-kill you. Well, they've never played a Mario game? They never played Pac-Man? These kids today are spoiled. Play Mega Man, then talk to me about insta-kill obstacles. Bunch of babies. Uh, where's the last one? I don't see it. Do I have a map? I have a map, and the map even shows, like, the, the Dusk Thing locations. But it does not show the locations of the things that I need, and I need... Oh, I have them all. No, I need one more. Where is the last one? This is where it's going to get annoying. I don't know where the last one is. And I appear to be more or less out of fruit to help me. There's a fruit. Is that a fruit? Yeah, it is. No, leave! Damn it. Fruit. I don't- I thought that was supposed to, like, show a beacon of the green things I'm after. I think I'm out of the white fruit, and the last one I got was not even, like, helpful. I guess I can see why people would find this stressful. It, it's more, like, stressful than it is threatening. Similar to the, like, the moon falling in Majora. You're not actually at that much of a risk of it happening. It's just that the, the fear of it happening gets to people. You just gotta keep moving. They're just a, they're but they're just big goofy slow fellas. They're not really a threat. They're like Ganondorf in Smash Brothers. Yeah, it hits hard. Just don't get hit, stupid. Where is the last thing though? I'm just- I am just not seeing it. Can I use my bombs? No, I, I don't have bombs in the spirit realm. Hey, have you seen the last green thing? Can any of you fellas help me? Okay, that one finally got me. I just- I couldn't find the last one. I saw the beacon multiple times. I guess I must have just missed it. Well, that's all right because I, I think I don't think these will take that long. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. We've been going a little over four hours, and uh, we'll be able to get probably get through these pretty quickly next time. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll do the three trials, and then depending on where we go next, maybe we'll maybe we'll get the fourth dungeon. Or we'll go back to the previous three dungeons. One, one or the other. We'll see where it goes. Uh, probably start earlier again tomorrow. Today was a little late. I had to wait for some uh, yard work outside to finish. Thank you for joining me, though. And I will see you next time.